Organisms that live in the open ocean habitat spend their entire lives in the water away from the bottom and away from land. The open ocean habitat is divided into layers from the surface at the top down to the deepest trench. The sunlit surface layer is thin, like the frosting on a cupcake, and the water temperature is much warmer here than in the deeper layers. Tiny plant-like organisms called plankton use sunlight to make their own food. Plankton are a very important food source for many other organisms in the ocean. Plankton, including jellyfish and other organisms like floating seaweed, live in the surface layer of the open ocean habitat and drift with the currents. Other organisms here are great swimmers and can swim fast, some nearly as fast as cars speed on a freeway. These speedy fish are often silvery colored and shaped like torpedoes. This habitat offers plenty of food and oxygen so many organisms live here. Whales, tuna, sunfish, sharks, and dolphins are some of the larger organisms that live in the surface layer of the open ocean. Go down deeper than the length of two football fields, and then even farther down, down, down for several miles. You'll see the light dim, the ocean become pitch black, and the water get much colder. The organisms living here have adaptations like making their own light, strange large eyes, or huge sharp teeth. These body parts and behaviors help them survive in the deep ocean habitat. Some deep ocean organisms like the giant squid and the marlin rise to the surface to feed at night and then dive back down again without being harmed by the great change in pressure. The deep diving sperm whale is a mammal and must breathe at the surface, but hunts in the deep ocean for squid and other food for 30 to 90 minutes at a time. Other organisms that stay down deep, like the anglerfish, have chemical reactions in their bodies that produce light to attract their prey. This glowing organism is a tenophore, or comb jelly. It is the size of an orange and uses its glow and two sticky tentacles to prey on tiny organisms. It's challenging to study the deep ocean habitat. Scientists need to use many different kinds of technology, including undersea robots and submarines. Sometimes they discover exciting creatures like this red octopus. Mm -hmm.